Serenade was the first ballet that George Balanchine created um, when he came to the United States. And it was a big coup for the company to bring it into the repertory. When we first did Serenade, it was at the old Carpenter Theater. And um, it had been renovated from the Lowe's Movie Palace, but it was still a very shallow stage, 26 feet. We were blessed to have the Richmond Symphony Orchestra in the pit, but we didn't have much room to dance. Then we brought Serenade into the studio theater and we had a beautiful big stage and a lot of room to dance, but no symphony orchestra in the pit. And finally now for the 30th anniversary, we have Serenade on the newly renovated, beautiful, big Carpenter Theater stage with the Richmond Symphony Orchestra in the pit. We're thrilled to have on the program with Serenade um, the Rite of Spring. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the world premiere of the Stravinsky music and we were invited to perform it on the day of the 100th um, anniversary down in Norfolk in May. So we're delighted to be able to bring it to Richmond now after a big success down there. And when you look at Rite of Spring, which is so intense, and Serenade, which is so poignant as a beginning and an end of an evening, it was really fun to try to figure out what would be the perfect thing right in the middle. And I'm just over the moon that we have our first Jerome Robbins ballet ever. We've been talking to the Robbins Rights Trust for years and they've granted us the rights to perform Jerome Robbins Fancy Free, which is the ballet with the commissioned score by Leonard Bernstein um, featuring three sailors and the Broadway show On the Town was based on it. So it's a wonderful, funny, cute palate cleanser between the other two. When I first came to Richmond Ballet, I saw tremendous potential and potential has always been a huge motivator for me and I feel just extremely lucky that I came to a place in time where there were people in the community that shared the same kinds of visions and dreams that I had for ballet not only in Richmond and in Virginia but in the world and it's been quite an adventure uh, the last three decades to build what we have now but I think it succeeded all of our expectations exponentially. And we were all pretty optimistic when we started out. And I think we're all just very grateful that uh, there's been so much support and that we have grown from a tiny little startup professional ballet to an organization that owns a city block downtown and is the State Ballet of Virginia and is able to carry the Richmond Ballet, State Ballet of Virginia name to New York, Chicago, and even across the ocean to London now.